Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Star Ocean 2. We are still in the Selfa Mines after we basically rejected... Uh, uh, what's his name? Ashton? Or something like that? Yeah, the guy with the two-headed dragon tied to his back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, characters in this game, they do get a little bit crazy, so... In order to get out of here, we need to get out of the mine. We weren't allowed to warp ourselves out. So I'm guessing we just have to walk all the way to the exit. So that's what we're going to do today. But I am kind of curious, because there's still a bit of part of where he was. Something we haven't seen. And there's still a mission icon. So I'm wondering if that means we can still talk to him and potentially choose him if we wanted to. So we can have a little look. Why not? Get iron, okay. Thought you could run off on me, didn't you? Well, you made me into damaged goods, and I'm gonna make sure you atone for it. My name's Ashton. I look forward to a very, uh, so very long relationship. Okay. So he is forcing his way onto my party right now. <laughs> okay. And yes, his name was Ashton. Because I seen pictures of him. I just couldn't precisely remember what that name was, but it was Ashton, so yeah. I knew it was with an A. <laughs> Ashton forced himself into the party. So how are we going to exercise that dragon then? All right, I'm, uh, I'm guessing we have Ashton in our party now. I know I said in the last episode that uh, we were going to refuse him and just uh, go on without him pick somebody else because there were so many options. But since we now, he basically forced himself into our party. You know what, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna let it be like this and we're just gonna use him. Why not? Having a member in our party with dragons on his back, why not? It's not the strangest uh, character I've seen in games, but it, it, it is up there. It definitely is. But yes, how are we gonna exercise that dragon then? Uh, I don't have a clue, to be honest. Huh, sure didn't take long to hit that dead end. <laughs> What was that? He's telling you to quit whining about it. Ugh, oh, those guys are pissing me off. But he can't definitely understand what the dragons are saying, even though we are only hearing growls. Really? I think they're kind of cute. You... you think? I like how this one has those scary looking eyes. And the eyes on this one are all sad, like a lost puppy. It's cute. I think there are more important things to think about right now, Reyna. Hey, how about we give them names? Names? For these heads growing out of my back? Well, why not? We're gonna be stuck with them for a while, right? <laughs> yeah, but... Now, let me think. I know, let's call the one with the scary eyes creepy and the one with the sad eyes weepy. They'll be creepy and weepy. <laughs> kind of stupid, but I also kind of like it. <laughs> that is so dumb. <laughs> Did you say something? No, nothing, nothing. So what are we gonna do now? We haven't got a single thing to go on. We'll probably have to go and do some research. Research? Yeah, maybe if we go someplace where there are a lot of books, we'll be able to find some information that'll give us some idea. Well, we did say we wanted to go to Linga, and Linga sounds like a place where there are a lot of linguists, and where linguists there might be a lot of books. Since we are going there for 
Well, to decipher the ancient text, we might as well see if we can find some information for him, maybe? Sounds perfect! But where would that place be? The Elder in Mars had a lot of books at his place, didn't he? Oh, yeah! Maybe he's got something useful over there. Alright, so... A little bit different than I planned, but let's look at the upside. For one, we have a crazy character with two dragons on his uh, back. And we now got a full team. An extra person with damage output now in the game. I think that's valuable. You know what? I think from now on, every crazy looking character we come across, let's just accept them into our party. We're, we're, we're gonna go for a band of misfits. Why the hell not? Are you hitting on me? Uh, not particularly. Are you guys here to kill the dragon? If you are, you should drop by the bar first. Uh, hello, guy, dragon on his uh, back. They do see it, right? Alright, let's uh, deal with uh, this. We did find some weapons. And yes, the dual weapons are of his. We got the Sword of Deflection, which we found in the level, and we stole the Venomous Stingers. Better than a Sword of Deflection. And has a chance of inflicting poison. Not bad at all. We have another Brigandine, good. Oh, I can't wear shields. Well, basic shields, not really advanced ones. Uh, he already has an open helmet. Ooh, Silver Greaves. Hmm, no, I want him to keep the plates and then we can give the silver one to our main man because he's on top, so he needs the one with the best equipment because he's always going to be in our party. Um, he does look like an attacker, so we want something with increased attack or does something... No, 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 nothing that breaks, nothing that breaks. Oh yeah, we got this from uh, one of our fishing uh, trips. Definitely something a caster would... Uh, be able to utilize. Mm. <laughs> That's it. That's all we have to work with. Well, Molovice Poison. Oh, it doesn't have any other stats. Um, why not just some basic stuff? Yes, this is definitely something for uh, a warrior type character. Which one here? Let's go to Prism Ring and make that into the magic thing. Yes, because this is very useful. Because it means that it's just a th third less of the cost, so she can cost a lot more before she reaches zero. Especially considering she has the most of the attack moveset. And skill wise, for the uh, I see we will deal with that in between the episodes because I have to see what he has. Let's look at the stats, what his specialties are taste and nimble finger. So, at first, cooking and pickpocketing. And at the moment, we have pickpocketing on Claude together with fishing, cooking on Rena. And we have writing and familiars on uh, Celine at the moment. For him, he doesn't have a lot, does he? I was hoping for a third one, like maybe originality or wild instinct. But uh, I'm sure we can work with this, right? What kind of things does he have? Uh, twin Thrust Crush lets a Northern Crush unleash a giant boulder of ice directly ahead. Ah, so it's a mage and a warrior in one. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, I think we can work with that, definitely. And let's first get back into the cave. And let's uh, walk all the way to where the dragons were and to the place where we found Ashton. Because I'm pretty sure there was something behind that we haven't discovered. I'm going to see what it is, so I will see you there. Alright, back at uh, the place of old misfortune, <laughs> where we got our uh, newest member. 
by slight accident. Because I was I was originally really planning not to take him with us. But I was curious. I was so so curious. I couldn't help myself. And there it is. Two chests. Diamond. And star ruby. Alright. Well, since now we have the complete back end of the mine charted. Let's see. Ooh, we got Arlia, we got Salva mission, we got Mars mission, and PA Mars. So we got plenty to do. So let's get back to the town entrance and see if we can find where this crest is. Can we see it on the map here? It's a limited time, so there has to be something that triggers it. Could it be a PA and the hidden PA maybe? Or could it be that we haven't left with our dear old Ashton yet, so we haven't completed the quest that we got uh, by recording him? Maybe. Is it still on him now? Yes, so there has to be something in here. Alright, let's just uh, go around town and see if we can find something that's triggered. If we can't, we will just uh, select the PA uh, session and see if that uh, triggers anything. Ah, eat nothing like the first drink of the day. Ah, I live for the first drink after a hard day's work. More thunder, another drink. Maybe we need to. Uh, Check the Alan's house. Cause maybe he knows something about the curse, because it is in his town. Ah, welcome. Please come in, whilst Alan is upstairs. Come think of it. I've uh, seen Moss Alan gazing at a peculiar round stone recently. Yeah, we dealt with that. He's no longer enticed by that. Uh, how's the investigation going? Still uh, no clue about what's going on in this town. Still same here. All right, let's go back into the mine, see if there's any indicator there. Because usually, when there is like a hidden quest there, the marker is somewhere within uh, the dungeon. See, there is no marker here. Right? Hmm. Very peculiar. Well, there are a few places uh, we need to check here. And if we can't find anything, we'll just continue onwards to the next location, because... There's only so many places we can go to. Ah, there it is. Are you the guys that got rid of that dragon? Actually, we haven't quite gotten rid of it. Ah, stop being so modest. Here, take this. Think of it as a reward. Twin splicers. Hey there, kid. What's it gonna be? All the way down. Yes, all, all the equipment, of course. Alright, but uh, you'll regret not buying anything later. So we check if that's a bit better? Damn, that's a lot better. And we could get it straight away. Damn. That's, I'm not saying no to that. That's way too much of an increase. All right, and there is the icon. Perfect. Alright, let's go to Arlia first. I'm guessing that uh, since we didn't have it before, it's gonna be with uh, Ashton, isn't it? I heard that you should walk along the main road if you're gonna leave uh, the village. Dad told me it's too dangerous to walk in the woods. The last one is still the same. It's been three months now that since the Sorcery Globe landed. You think it's affecting other towns? Definitely. And since so far it looked like the same, let's switch the mode. Oh, what a wonderful little town. Oh, hey, Claude, help me out here. 
What's wrong, Ashton? You sound miserable. These guys want me to buy this antique helm. I told them no, but they won't stop pestering me about it. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cool. How oh, the animation is done. I like it. What'd they say? They said it'd be a really good item for all three of us. Hmm. So how much does that helm cost anyway? Take a look. Ah. 17,000 full? It is way too expensive, but it is within our budget and we still haven't completed all of our missions. So we have another 50,000 in there. Sure? I guess if we do buy it, it will do wonders for our friendship, I'm sure. Alright, let's buy it. Huh? Are you sure? Well, why not? It's kind of our fault that you have to deal with them all the time, isn't it? Besides, Creepy and Weepy could really use some armor of their own, the poor guys. <sighs> Creepy says that it's well worth the cost, and you won't regret it. I hope so. In all honesty, I already regret it. <laughs> How's it going, kid? I don't know much, but it's all quality stuff. Ooh. Fountain pen? Only 460? That's not too bad, actually. Because I mean, for every fountain pen, we can write a book that enhances skills, which might be a lot cheaper. Ooh, I'm gonna play around with that uh, in between episodes 100%. I didn't know they were selling it that, that cheap here. Ooh. He has some really nice new stuff. I like that. I'm sorry about that, Claude. <laughs> the simple necklace. Nah, you, you can keep your stuff. Alright, let's have a look around. And I think I remember that we did find another dragon thing, didn't we? Oh, we already had a dragon's ribbon. So it's the second one we have. It's not bad, but... I think this one would be more worth it, so... No, I was busy. Let's just give him a Dragon Ribbon, because it is by his character, and we did pay for it. An exuberant amount of money, uh, that's that. Having said that, shall we just uh, complete our missions? Because we have a lot, and the points and the books we're going to get for it are actually really nice. And I do have to make sure that with the books we're getting rewarded, that we do use them before they hit 20. I don't want to waste anything, you know what I mean? And a new formation in there. Very good. Yes, I read level 10 with... Sauli. Which is a lot of money. I cooked a lot. Master Chef 30 times. There's some ingredients. And defeated 500 enemies, which isn't a lot in my opinion, but I'll take the cash. And then we got specialists. Cooking. Another third for Master 100 times, 30,000. Inflicting enemy status, 10,000. And I'm prepared to learn 100% of all skills, which is basically we unlocked everything, we didn't level it to max. Still. 30k, it's a lot of money. And uh, nothing here on the top side. And that gives us 120,000, which I can do a lot with later on, definitely. Alright, and if uh, we have any more PAs where we need to spend a lot of cash, at least we got a nice buffer now that we can use that for. That was mainly the reason why I wanted to unlock it. Have a quick chat with Rina, which I think will still be in her room. I definitely feel most at home in my own room, as you should. 
All right, that's it for Arya. All right, that's it, Mars. Before we head over back to Harley to take the boat to another city. Hope. Oh wait. Oh wait, we need to uh, switch back to normal first. Yes. Then we can get to Mars. All right, let's see what we can uh, do here. Uh, the mayors of every town and village are busy working with each other to uh, make proper arrangement for the refugees from Curric. Ah, there it is. Those are the books. What do you want to read? <laughs> Exorcism. We read these books. This one was not there when we first hit were here. He who has been possessed by an alien form shall find the solution within. Aha! Found it! The exorcism of a monster must be carefully performed depending on the type of creature possessing the victim. Dragons! What's it say about dragons? To correctly exorcise a dragon, one must capture the king's tears as they fall from the sky into the holy silver chalice. Where can we find this silver chalice? The silver chalice sleeps in its maternal womb, embraced by calm, tranquil waters. Waters? So what, is it in the ocean or a lake somewhere? Could it be referring to Lake Cole, the one on the northwest side of Cross? But what about that maternal womb bit? I don't get that. That must be referring to the Mountain Palace. It's right next to Lake Cole. Those seeking the King's Tears shall embark upon a treacherous path to the mountaintop and brace for any challenge. King's Tears from the sky. It's talking about some kind of mountain bird, maybe. Hmm, maybe there's a boss there that will cry and we need to catch the tears into the chalice. Then it could be the Laskus Mountains west of Cross. Supposedly, it's the home to some giant demon birds. And from very powerful enemies, but we have a group of four now, and last time we went there, we were just by ourselves. So we should be much better suited for them. The tears will be yours once you grasp victory from the ruler of the skies. What next? Return to the birthplace of the dragon monster, bring the chalice with the tears to your mouth, and recite the following incantation. And then I'll be free, right? With screams of agony and pain, the demonic dragon shall vanish from this world. Creepy and Weepy will be... killed? Well, that is technically what an exorcism is, isn't it? Is there really a need to go that far? Well, what about me? How about my feelings? No one's forgetting that, Ashton. Don't you think that sounds a little too brutal? To kill them like that? I have to agree with Celine on this. They are creatures too. It might not be by choice that they uh, connected with Ashton. Oh, come on! Guess the cuter side of the argument's winning, huh? <sighs> oh, poor guys. They don't deserve this. What is it with you guys? Why are you using this tearjerker stuff on me? Well, we can't help it, can we? Listen, how about we just keep you as is? I finally figured out how to get rid of this thing. You think I'm just gonna let it go like this? Well, in that case, let's head to the Mountain Palace and get the Silver Chalice first. Everything else is pointless unless we have that in hand. Poor Creepy. Poor Weepy. Yeah. In all honesty, I wish he just kept them like they are. Because they're pretty cute and it makes him really unique. And that's something not a lot of people can say in the world. It seems so wrong to have an Ashton without Creepy and Weepy. To be honest, Celine, we just known him for like, what, half an hour now? You don't know Ashton, not a lot. Why are you doing this to me? I'm the victim here. Let's see. The Mountain Palace is on the northwest side of Cross, right? Yeah, we've been there. But uh, I think before we can go there, don't we need permission from the king first? Because when we went there, we weren't allowed to go inside. 
Uh, and there's also a PA here, so let's uh, do that as well. Because it's a temporary one. <laughs> Who knows, maybe by completing these actions now, getting rid of the dragons of Ashton, maybe we get another option whether to bring him or leave him. And then we can actually have another discussion about it. For now, let's see how far we can take this. Are we strong enough to get the Silver Chalice? Are we strong enough to get to the top of the mountain for that? I am very curious to find out. That <laughs> definitely. Oh, the smell of a forest really gives you a sense of the seasons. It definitely does. Claude, help me out here. What's wrong, Ashton? Creepy and Weepy are fighting with each other. Again. About what? About which one of them is stronger? Throw me a line here, Claude! <laughs> Creepy is strong, Weepy is strong, one. both are equally strong. I thought you were a team. My first reaction is saying, I thought you, were, you two were a team. And they are, they were already attacked before they uh, went to action, I think. So yeah, I thought you two were a team. Weepy and Creepy are both part of the same dragon, aren't they? They both said, don't pair me with him. Did you guys fight like this in your demonic dragon days? We didn't argue at all back then. Apparently. So when did you start bickering with each other? <laughs> when they had uh, some uh, nerd in between them, <laughs> named Ashton. <laughs> Ever since Reyna gave us names. It all makes sense now. Reyna named both of your heads individually, and I guess that was enough to make you start thinking for yourselves. Look! Stop fighting with each other already! Reyna really did a number on you, didn't she? <laughs> she did. I don't know how much uh, more I can uh, take it if Creepy and Weepy don't get along. Can we go back to her and tell her about it? Nope. <laughs> she just accepts it as it is. Let's talk to Celine and then bring the group together again. Oh, I do like coming back to Mars sometimes. Me too. It's a nice place. Great. F oh, there he is. I thought Ashton wasn't coming back. If that was the case, there might have been a very special scene there as well. Very good. Alright. Do we have anything more here? Nope. And there it is. Going to Cross Castle to get permission to get to the Mountain Palace. Hey. If we can exercise him or... Maybe make him see reason. I think we should do it straight away. Because that will open up two new places where we can fight enemies. And potentially see where we can get the most points off while we're fighting there. And maybe some new extra scenes. And never say no to that. Welcome to Lakur Castle. Would you like another audience? If so, please go up... Uh, the stairs guarded by the two soldiers. Wait. Lacur Castle? No, this is Cross Castle. D did we walk to the wrong place? No, oh, it does look like uh, Cross Castle, really. Must be uh, a slight error, I think. Alright, let's go see the king. Let's see if he has some time for us. Another audience? Please, go ahead and enter. I have come to make a formal request, your majesty. And what might that be? We seek your royal permission to enter the Mountain Palace. Oh, whatever for? To exorcise the dragon from this man's body, sire, 
We must venture inside the mountain palace and obtain the silver chalice. In that case, so be it. You have my official permission to enter the mountain palace. Beware, however, for the palace is overrun with fearsome monsters. You must exercise extreme caution beyond its doors. It is nice of him to give us uh, permission. There was no need for him to give us permission to enter the, well, dungeon. Thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, that went a lot easier than I thought uh, it was gonna be. And no. Now we could go to the Mountain Palace. And let's check out to see if uh, the monsters we're gonna encounter there are within our range. Like, if they're red, then we have to come back later, but if they're not, <laughs> we can definitely try it. Ah, oh, yes. Your permission from the King of Cross? Please, feel free to enter. Thank you. Uh, let's see, what kind of monsters do we have here? All right, they are doable colors, I guess. But we won't know until we actually fight them. Well, strong, but defeatable. And Ashton, especially with a new blade, is very strong. Can you imagine once we uh, divided all the points? <laughs> Very narrow corridors are there. Means that uh, all the enemies we come across, we have to fight it. We cannot go around it. I'm glad everyone's safe. I have to say, Ashton, he's grown on me very quickly with that much power. It's a really nice addition to the team. Now we actually have two fighters, a healer and a mage. Perfect setup. Ring of healing. Too bad. Okay, so Letitia, if we use her, it's basically just one extra humongous hit we can uh, deliver to the enemies. Yeah, another reason why we want uh, the other Chris as well, so we have at least a full list of abilities we can pick from. Very nice indeed. Ah, and uh, let's see this as a uh, training for uh, the new continent. Because <laughs> when we're done here, we'll be strong enough to take anything over there. Lots of HP. What are you actually? Are you like a slime? Yeah, I think it is. Hmm, I thought Ashton would have a lot more BP in all honesty. Eh, that's okay. <laughs> we can definitely work with that. Just needs uh, to uh, save up a bit more points by just fighting everything. Jesus, this dungeon is Wow. Yeah, it's, it's extremely big. It's gonna take a while uh, exploring this entire thing. So let's do uh, half it now, half it on the next episode, but we are definitely gonna do it. <laughs> and who knows, maybe by going through this journey, Ashton can learn to appreciate what he has with uh, Creepy and Weepy. Yeah, we should actually not name them back their names, because we'll grow attached to them. Well, I'd 
<laughs> and by the time it uh, comes, we're not gonna let them go. <laughs> mm. 2000. And hot syrup. Thank you. Uh, key, key guys. Key guys, no, please. Thank you. Alright, first uh, dead end taken care of. Let's go to another corner of the ruins. The groups are really big in this dungeon. No chests. Because you have seen it before that they do like to put chests behind a wall that it is there, but you just can't see it. Yes, we are. Uh, I can't, I don't want to get rid of my meteor palm. It's so good. I do think we can switch to the other one though. Which is, is really nice because it does do an entire circle around our body. But with all the new moves we've learned, there has to be something in there that's strong as well. And who knows, by using it, maybe we learn to appreciate it and switch up Meteor Palm as well. Learned delay. Thank you. Learn everything you can. The more you have, the stronger you get. Right, let's uh, connect both parts. back to the beginning then we can go to the right because you know it's all the way in the back so we can slowly connect everything all the way forward we'll have this entire dungeon met before you know it and of course loot it with all the treasure chests that are in here because just like we won't leave anybody behind it also goes for treasures we find Paralyzed. Oh, that was a nice uh, possibility to just view the move, wasn't it? Why well, are gonna feel that Luna doesn't have anything against Paralyzed? <laughs> Alright. I could have used uh, an item to heal that, but I think we did okay. Another exit? No, it's where we actually came in. Ah, right. Perfect. Full circle. Yeah, let's go up this way. The enemy is it. Let's go, creepy. <laughs> he actually uh, calls them by their names in combat. It's really nice. Okay. Let's go, we ready for this? Oh, I 
should check uh, our new formation to see if there's anything in there that we can use better than what we have right now. Mm, let's have a quick check. Oh, we did get a couple with opening up the missions. Yes, the upper guard. Guts 30%, defense 50%. Ooh, nullifies all status ailments. Ooh, that might actually be nice. Let's uh, keep that in. Uh, maybe party formation. Yes. Healer in the background, the two fighters in the foreground. That is actually more natural than uh, having the healer up front. Yeah, don't know what Guts actually does, but uh, the nullify ailments, that's definitely talking to me right now. Not because we had to paralyze just a few fights ago, just in general, just having no effects by statuses, that's a big deal. Especially when things like instant death and poison. Fairy Elixir. Thank you very much. I will gladly take that off your hands. Alright, let's uh, look at the map after this one to see where we can go best after this. Hey, hey, Ashton, don't hog all the ladies to yourself. Really. How'd that one feel? Even with the dragons, you're real ladies, man. I can already tell. Okay, so we've got a save point nearby. So that might trigger something, but let's go here first. If it doesn't trigger anything, at least we get healed. So many hits. And that's how you do it. This isn't unexpected. Definitely not. Too bad there's no way in this dungeon to group up, right? Oh wait, as soon as I say that, a room with a lot of room. Come here, come here, come here. Yes, give me everything. What do you mean back attack? I initiated that, that's real crap. No, 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 I want the bonus. Doesn't matter. We'll be back to 300 before you can say, well, basically Ashton, because that's where we're busy with right now. 19 and 20. Very nice. Alright, let's get down. Let's see what kind of chests we uh, find down there. Because it is leading to a room with. Uh, a dead end and a couple of, ooh boss formation oh <laughs> that's a really massive break Ooh, 
Ooh, that sounds like a very important chance. This even has his own pedestal. Ah, uh, there's the ailment again. Come on, Letitia. Thank you. Foot Insignia. I'll gladly take that. There's never enough accessories. Because <laughs> if we have all of them, we can just uh, pick whatever is useful for the situation. Another dead end. Perfect. Hey, can, you, can you look at me? Thank you. Can you imagine if uh, Ashton and Claude are uh, hit by that? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a shit show when that happens. <laughs> then you better hope that uh, the two girls... Ooh, wait, 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 what's that? An X-Clip kit? Usable only by Opera in Machinist Item Creation. A set for crafting an item can be used by Opera in Machinist to create a powerful weapon. Okay, who's Opera? Hmm. The only Oprah I know is uh, the one of talk shows, since he hasn't done that in years. I'm pretty sure it's not her they're talking about. Might be another recruitable character. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep that in the pocket just in case. Oh, and I do wonder that is it gonna be like that uh, we can craft our own ultimate weapons for every character. I, I know we're just in the beginning stages of the game, so it's really early to be talking about something like that. Is it? It would be really cool though. It, does, it would provide you with a reason to level up all your crafting skills. Alright, first safe point. What can we find up ahead that we need to save for it? <laughs> Enemies are still purple? No red ones? Do you say we can't win this? He did say we can't win this, right? You know what? I think... I think I'm gonna leave this episode here, cause those words creep me out a little bit and things start to look a little bit darker, like we're heading to a place where we wouldn't supposed to be. And considering the time of the episode, I think this would also be a perfect time to leave it here. It also will give me the opportunity that in between the episodes I can spend all those points, cause the amount we have is starting to get ridiculous. I need to make a choice, I need to stick to it. Cause that's the real one of the reasons why I haven't spent these points because I'm doubting myself where to invest it in. One of the reasons why I pick jobs for every character so that I can put those SPs in there and be confident in them. I need to do the exact same thing with the battle points. Put them in the move sets you want to use and the rest into abilities that facilitate what you are, like the hasten speech for our magic users, the attack up and defense up for the fighters. I think I should just. Put it in there, max it out as far as we can, and use up those points. Because every point we do not use is wasted potential, isn't it? And of course, uh, once we get further in the game, we'll see what we can do with playing around with those pens. And see if we can create books and level up uh, IC skills maybe a little bit easier, a little bit sooner. Depends how easy it is to uh, make those things, but... Uh, We'll figure it out along the way. For now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we continue this quest to exercise Ashton of his dragons. And give him a choice whether or not to do that. <laughs> See you then. Bye-bye.